Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741953161097. JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. JC's Comics and More on Instagram. Find the Facebook link in the description below. This is Monday, February 6th, 2023. I've got my marbles here. My computer is down right now, so uh, that's why you guys haven't seen anything. As far as on, on Instagram, which isn't too surprising there because I don't get a chance to post all the time, but nothing on the shop's Facebook page or any other uh, stuff like that. I've got some stuff I picked up, uh, reorders and stuff, but haven't had a chance to do those. In fact, let me pause my camera quickly. Okay, I might as well go ahead and uh, include these with the uh, Marvels because I was doing the Marvels. But this is some reorders I got in uh, for some people and stuff I needed, like Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, uh, the trade, the director's cut. We have this back in stock. Something is Killing the Children, Volume 1, Volume 3. I've got Volume 2s here right now. 4 and 5. Also, Berserk, Volume 2, and I did get in Beast Beast Wars, I think it is, uh, for a gentleman, a Volume 22, last uh, volume of that series. I've got that here waiting for him up front. Now, the Marvels this week includes Alien 6, really weird uh, human hybrid. I don't know. I like my Aliens Alien. I don't want any human uh, involved with them whatsoever. Call me crazy that way. But I like my aliens being xenomorphs. Like that. I don't want them to look like Uncle Bill. But that's a cover B. Cover C. Almost reminds me of a Mike McNola cover. Amazing Spider-Man 19. John Romita Jr. cover. Terry Dotson did the uh, artwork on the inside. It's decent, but it's not Terry's best work. I think it's a little sloppy at points. There's the Planet of the Apes variant. A lot of uh, the Planet of the Apes variants, if I did order them, I only ordered a couple copies. And then one of my copies of this was damaged. That is the 1 in 25 Dotson variant. You have to call the shop, contact me uh, for uh, information. That right there should have been like a blue. Should have been a colors of pop rather than the white that kind of, kind of blends in with the background. Whoever the colorist was did a bad job. They're doing uh, some of these as uh, variants, uh, variant editions. They're no prize variant covers. I never got one as a kid. I wish I would have would have been nice. I really dig that logo color, though I tell you that much. Uh, but they're doing them for a few select comics, like Amazing Spider-Man. Hey, this is Fantastic Four Disney variant. No, this is Amazing Spider-Man and they put it on the Amazing Spider-Man cover. Or, yeah, it's Fantastic Four, Disney, if uh, there were Disney characters or Marvel characters, but they put it on the Amazing Spider-Man cover rather than the Fantastic Four cover, which would be a much better choice. Again, somebody, somebody must have been drinking toilet water in the Bronx. Here we've got the facsimile edition for Avengers number 8 with featuring the Kang. I say it's facsimile because, look, it's got the original ad. It's got original ads on the inside. Look, look, original ads. It's not like Gargoyles last week or Invincible with ads for current merchandise. Those would make it reprints. When Marvel did their dollar reprints, it had ads for current Marvel stuff. But this is the facsimile edition, 100%. Uh, the Avengers War Across Time, number two. Uh, Paul Levitz, Alan Davis. I had a chance to read this. I read this. You certainly bet I did. It's Alan Davis doing the Avengers 100%. This is, uh, give me give me this Avengers book any time over what they currently call the Avengers. There is a, um, a variant cover. This uh, almost looks like a John Byrne. But this is... Um, Oh, I can't think of his name right offhand. It's not John Byrne, but that's a damn cool variant cover. Bishop, War College, number one. A new uh, five-issue miniseries with Bishop. There is the Planet of the Apes 
variants there. Kind of anticlimactic, other than putting apes in the background. And I was really creative there. Give your guys a uh, give your guys a C plus there. Go out to eat at Denny's. There's a well, I want to say Wilsper Tassio cover. Yeah, there's a Rob Liefeld cover. He looks like he belongs at uh, uh, on uh, 21 Jump Street. There's an Alex Ross cover on Black Panther number 14 with with no more. There is the Planet of the Apes cover with Black Panther, and again, and, and, you know, I'm sorry. If there was that many apes coming down on the Panther, his ass would be toast. There is a, I don't know what you want to call this, a Siri cover, I guess. It might be considered Black History Month, but actually Black Panther uh, is it's Africa. It's not America. Look! Another no prize variant with Black Panther. All right, here's the uh, the uh, Falcon Captain America symbol of truth number ten. There is a variant on that, and there's Dare 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 Evil Dare Evil number eight. Uh, he's fighting uh, Frank Castle, and the hand. I think stuff might end up poorly. For old horn head, he might not uh, might not like how it turns out for him. But there is a variant on that, a Stormbreakers variant, which is eh, eh. There's a Planet of the Apes variant on that there, and again, eh, that's decent. You know, at least it's classic apes. Uh, pause, and I'm gonna grab the next stack. Okay, here's the next deck. And it's a large week for, for Marvel, too. There's 21 Marvels coming out this week. Uh, I know there's not quite as many DCs uh, as you can see in the DC video, which, oh yeah, I shot it, but I haven't uploaded it because the computer took a dump on me. Um, but here's number 11 of Ghost Rider, 50th anniversary of Ghost Rider at that. It's a J. Scott Campbell cover for Ghost Rider. Look how cool that is. There's the Planet of the Apes one. I think that ape isn't going to... I think he's going to be sorry. He's taking on old uh, Flamehead there. That is the 1 in 25 variant on that. There is a... Uh, I'm not sure what you just call this. Just a regular variant. Gold Goblin number 4. I think there's one more to go. There is a variant on that. Joe Fix It, Joe Fix It number two. I read this. So damn good. Just so good. Just like that, just like that Avengers. Uh, the Paul Levitz, the uh, Alan Davis. This is so cool. There is the B cover. Miracle Man the Silver Age, number four. You got the A. You got the action figure variant. And you've got this really cool variant here. No, it's not art German, but somebody's trying to do their best art German in uh, impersonation. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number three. A and B. No more. The Submariner. Smell his scent. Fishy fish. Mmm, smells like Friday. Uh, issue five. This is the last issue of that series. Red Goblin, number one. This could be a new miniseries as well. Didn't get a chance to look at that yet. But there's a very cool, I think, uh, is this the Derek Chu cover? Or the, there's a Derek Chu cover in there somewhere. I think that was, yeah, that was Derek Chu. That's the 1 in 25 variant. There's the Window Shade variant. Secret Invasion. Uh, number four, what do you guys think of this? I've been enjoying it. Uh, I think it's pretty lame compared to the original Secret Invasion. Um, they're trying to capitalize on the name of the new Disney Plus whatever the hell it is coming out. It's not selling. It's it's PU. Um, I, I flushed a bigger hit down the toilet earlier this morning than, uh, than what that is. Uh, Star Wars Darth Vader 31 A... There is the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi uh, variant, number 5 of 40. There is just another regular variant. There is the 
Black History variant of Janal. Couldn't even tell you who that is. Uh, Star Wars Hidden Empire 3. Crimson Dawn's last uh, stand. Who knows? This here, it's not a bad variant. I think this is, I don't know, is this her take on the window shade variants? That's a connecting variant. Uh, that's just a variant. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, looks like a something that was done on a computer. Maybe AI did it. There's the Black History Finn variant. And Star Wars High Republic number 5. Uh, a. And here's the other variants. And uh, this, this series is not doing well at all either. People are not buying into the High Republic. Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants number 1. This is a Sins of Sinister... Uh, tie-in book. I think that's going to be like three issues, maybe four issues. Uh, there's a variant there. Another Storm variant. There's a, another Storm variant. Oh, this is a Pym Particles variant. And then finally, Marvel Legends number six. Uh, Wolf's Protasio involved with Bishop. This is kind of like how Bishop should be looking with the mullet and looking strong and badass. Really ready to kick anyone's ass. But uh, that's it for this week. If you like these uh, these videos, as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notification. Like, comment, and share. Other than that, hope everybody has had a great first uh, weekend of February. Thanks again. And also, if you guys watch this all the way, uh, normally my uh, Super Bowl... Uh, sale would be after the Super Bowl. Well, unfortunately, there will be no Super Bowl sale this year because hard to uh, put something together if my computer is not working. So I'm going to work on something uh, a few weeks after that. Sorry about that, but even if I got my computer back, say, in the next two days to try to do something in that limited time, just not enough time for me to, uh, to really push the sale. So it's going to get pushed back. Sorry.